Holy crap, it's EU4. I forgot the name of the series. Common Sense, we're all back. It's myself, Northern Lion, Mathis, Arumba, and Quill. Hello. This is not Wealth of Nations? It, it is not <laughs> the Three Conquistadors. I don't even know what's happening <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, how's, how's it going? Sup? Yo. It's good. It's good. I. Where have you guys been? <laughs> Traveling, man. We. It's oh. not like we've all, all been away for three weeks, but we've all been away on like consecutive Fridays, which has created a now, bit hold of a on. gap for us. I didn't go anywhere. Aruma doesn't I'm, have a life, so <laughs> I just I'm just sitting here ready to play EU4. That's all. I guess imagine it's like that Spider-Man meme. <laughs> Everyone else is leaving the country, and I'm just sitting here ready to play EU4. I can just imagine Aruma yeah. every Friday just sitting at his computer waiting for three hours. And then he well, I sent, I, I sent you guys all messages like on, a, on Thursdays and Fridays, right? Like, are we yeah. playing tomorrow? Like, <laughs> like, are we? I thought it was hilarious when Ryan was gone for the third week. And I was like, oh, that's hilarious. Now we can't play for another week. I didn't think to let you guys know <laughs> because I was like, well, you know, they haven't been here forever. So it should be like they should know or something like we <laughs> I don't know why I thought that <laughs> they but. should just know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Also, after that bullshit coalition war. I remember that vividly. Uh -huh. But after the bullshit coalition war, now I have uh, pretender rebels. Like mm. two minutes into starting the video for the first time in a month. Oh god, I just attacked with maintenance so low. Oh god, I forgot yeah. how to. Play <laughs> yeah, before. rebels. That's always gets me like that. No maintenance. Well, you did say that you were playing a simpler game. Yeah, I was playing Colonial Conquest, which is uh, much much simpler. Still kind of fun, but simple. I played it's just e like um, it, it's basically like risk. You take over provinces if you have a larger army than the uh, the country you're invading, and then whoever has the most victory points wins. Sounds all right. Should check it out. It is kind of cool because I'm a sucker for stuff with like real world geography. Mm. Oh right, my rebels walked into. They went to uh, Poland. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, those are my rebels over there. All right, good luck, Poland. Have fun. I played some Hoi 3 today. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. I've been playing Dark Souls 2 a lot. Really? I'm almost done. Oh. Well, almost done with the vanilla part of the game, then just DLC to go. Well, I haven't done the DLC yet, so you're almost uh, ahead of me. Sweet. Where are you at in, in Dark Souls 2 right now? I'm at the last... The, I'm in the Shaded Wood, I think it's called? Uh, no, the not... The Shrine Mana? Okay, so no, it's like the sh I think people were calling it the Shaded Wood. I'm going after the last of the major four bosses. Uh, I I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I don't know his name. So, it's been a while. Yeah. You know when you walk into Majula? Uh, yes. If you take a sharp left before walking into Majula, there's a path that leads into um an area where there's a switch you can pull, but there's like a oh, uh, yeah, a yeah, lady yeah. that's in stone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in that area. Oh, you got a long way to go, man. I think I've done every other part of the game, though. Oh, you are... I think you have a long way to go. All right. I think you're, like, halfway. Name a boss that I should do. I'll tell you if I've done it. Uh, uh, you've done, you've done like, the Rot. I've done the Rot, and I've done the Old Iron King. Last Prisoner. The Last Sinner? Last Sinner. Yep. So, it's been two years, man. It's... No, no, I was just asking if that's what you mean. Maybe there's a Last Prisoner boss yeah. fight that I didn't know. No, no. You are correct. Last we should scenario. talk about E4. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have no I'm idea sorry. what she's talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quill and Arumba. Ooh. No, it's okay. Arumba's just going to be quiet and plot. Spain Spain just inherited uh, Aragorn. Aragorn. Mm. Oh, yeah. Spain just became Spain. Good job, Spain. I'm proud of you. Mine's just way too big. He's got Terrell. He's just going to eat up the rest of Austria soon. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to continue to execute plan, like exile myself to North America. <laughs> I don't like this. I feel very uncomfortable. Remember when I owned all of Bohemia and all of Bavaria? Oh, Bo yeah. Bo Was that this campaign? <laughs> yeah. I owned all of Bavaria, and then you... Well, I don't, I don't think it was you, actually. It was just the coalition forced me to give up all of Bavaria and all of Bohemia. Then you took over Bavaria and just fed it provinces. Yeah, that just happened. That had just happened very recently. All right, good job, Poland. Take out those Wait. rebels. Venice is the emperor? What? Ye all hail Where Venice. Did <laughs> How'd that happen? Oh, I voted for him. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember them becoming emperor, but he may have voted for him. Voting for Hungary. Hungary, for oh, some reason, yeah. It's been a while. I'm going to say it like that from now on. Hungary. Why did, why did Bohemia vote for Venice? Hmm. No, no, they're not saying anything. Nobody knows how this game works anymore. We should just no. start over. <laughs> Spain broke their alliance with me because they're allied with Cologne now. Nice. Good I job, guess I, well, no, I was already allied with them. Oh, it was their alliance with Portugal then, I think. Uh, well, all right, Muscovy. How about you? That's very convenient, actually. Declare war. Oh, you still got Burgundy, Poland, and Denmark? Yeah, you're all right. I've still got good allies, yeah. I mean, it's the only reason I've, I've managed to do as well as I have this game. Which is not to say that I've done badly. I've actually done well, but um, I, I wish I could do better. <laughs> Mm. I'm just content here. So Venice is the emperor, and they are my ally. Interesting. Well, hold on now. Venice is the emperor, but they're not part of the HRE. Yeah, which is fine. It makes it much harder for them to become emperor. I have no idea how this happened. Did we vote for them? I did. You did. I don't, don't know. I don't remember why. You and Bohemia, yeah. But for what some is reason, discontent yeah. again? That's that's a Roomba. No, no. Oh, that's not, that's you! Yeah. Right, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of that shit going on, too. I got discontent. I got sabotage reputation going on. <laughs> like, god damn. What? That's actually fine. <laughs> discontent. I mean, it's no worse than what Mathis was doing with his demand and unlawful territory nonsense. Yeah, but that's his job as the emperor. Yeah. He's not doing that. He's doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So discontent just makes it so that you really got to be careful about your 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 unrest. Three percent turning into six percent. It's a yeah. pretty big deal. I can't even adjust my autonomy, so I guess I'll just eat it. Man, it's so it's such a complex game. Like when you're in the moment, you're playing it, or you've been playing it uh, every week. You're kind of in the groove, even though it takes a little while to get back into it. But after playing other games that don't have as many moving parts, getting reacclimated to those for like. Three weeks. This is uh it's a journey. Yeah. Well life's a journey. That's not a true. destination. Dropping some knowledge bombs on there. <laughs> uh, sure well luckily I still have my regular EU four series. Which is going <laughs> awesome. I've like formed Italy while being the emperor of the HRE. And it's hard to like plow back your um your imperial authority. Like, mm. we've gone through the, the League War, so now at least all the electors are Catholic, so we're all on the same team there. Now I'm having to, like, strategically declare war on people to force convert them or force them to release a bunch of nations so that the princes come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I've removed all the negative... Uh, I was at, like, negative point two imperial authority forever, which meant I could never gain any points, but that's all gone away. Now, if I can get some land back from Burgundy for the HRE, it'll be great. I'll get the points, form the emperor or the empire properly. Fantastic. I remember I had just um, just taken Tyrol. That, that was the big thing that I had done last yeah. time. It's been it's like a month. You guys can't do this <laughs> to me. I've had like five other campaigns started and ended between the now and the last time we played. Hmm. Which is actually, you know, very impressive in and of itself. No, it's not been that many. I exaggerate, but still. Oh, good. One three two leader, and my heir is a zero three zero. Ooh, wow! Getting just a uh, like consistently one on the dice roll. Could be worse. Could be zero. Oh, is this you're doing your um, your rebels? Oh no no no! They they are dead. I mean mm. the metaphorical dice. Ah, I see. That governs all of us. Mm. So France and England are in a war, huh? I like the idea of like a pan-European war. Me against Mathis. I would have Poland, Denmark, Sweden, Burgundy, and he would have Muscovy. It would drag everybody in. It'd be pretty sizable. Musky, I Muscovy mean, probably, probably won't points, like adhere to my call. As they have in, if, in the past. 
You don't think so? They haven't up in the past. They just ditch out of the alliance. They're like, yeah, I'm good. Like, even a defensive call? It, specifically referring to a defensive call, they bounced on oh, me. Oh, man. Oh, wow. It's like, you assholes. Do I sound terrible, by the way? The Skype call has been kind of okay, robot so today. It's not just uh, me, then. Mm -mm. Seems like, like it's fine, sort of issue. but it could be better. Yeah. Yep. Most of the time, it sounds fine. So, Quill, you, uh, we both started off as theocracies. Are you still a theocracy? Yes. Yeah. But weren't you looking to change or something? You had a, an yeah, I need I need castle. Okay. I think that's all I need. I can't remember. Stay away from castle. Mm, but it would be so cool. I'll trade you castle for... for I'm trying to see, like, region map mode. We can't. We're rivals. Dang it. I mean, I could secularize at admin tech 20. But yeah, what about you? Are you still? Yeah, you are still are. Do you have any plans to change, Arumba? Uh, no, I, I'm actually really liking this theologian deal. I'm going to do it just because, like, it's always my policy that if I can tag switch, I do. Because it's cool to form nations and stuff. Hmm. I don't think it would be better. I just want to. I have, like, nowhere to expand. I've been looking around the last 20 minutes or whatever it's been, just trying to, like, who can I attack? And Well, you'll take the rest of Austria soon. It doesn't feel like there's much to do. Which is, like, by design. It's the way we set up this, uh, yeah. this campaign. But then I'm the bad guy because I'm the one causing wars to, like, alliance chains or something. Right, Quill? I don't remember. Quill thinks you're a bad guy. I think the AI is a bad guy. Well, I, I didn't say you were a bad guy. I said you were a blue player. You, you're denying other people fun. Oh, yeah, when that's right. I was, like, <laughs> trying to take over territory, and then you'd, like, when I'm already at war, you would ally them and then jump in. I'm like, what? But yeah, well, beat that... up on one province miners. What are you doing? Uh-oh, Saxony's created an army for their nation. <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> no, I'm just, it's good. Good job. I mean, you know what I need to do? Army. Set the stupid countries of interest thing again. Oh, wait, I'll know, use man. the trick. I don't want to brag, Arumba but I already did that. That's, if Aruma and Quill keep fighting, they should 1v1 and out in Rocket League. Yeah, man. Oh, man. I actually have no idea what Rocket League is. You guys Rocket keep talking League about is it. robot soccer. Well, not robot soccer. It's but car it's soccer. Car soccer, yeah. You play soccer in teams of cars on like a super, like a car-sized field, basically. Is it teams? I thought it was 1v1. You can do either. You can do uh, w all the way from 1v1 to 3v3. To 3 3v3. Nice. No, you can do 4v4. I like four. Based stuff. I don't think you can do 4v4. You can't do 4v4 anymore. I, I don't think you could ever. Oh, wait. You, you know, about? you were totally right. <laughs> you yeah, were yelling chaos. at me because I'm like, 4v4 sucks. I forgot about 4v4. 4v4 is uh, it's in the game. This is correct. And it's really good. It's a great game. And people, at first, when I covered it, I was like, this is like a genuine game of the year candidate. And people were like, oh, yeah, car soccer, I, I bet. And then, like, it came out, and they've like moved, hundreds of thousands of people are playing it now. And people are like, oh, million, shit. Yeah, they've moved 5 million. Yeah, they've had 5 million downloads in three weeks or something. Wow. Is Most of those, play? obviously, are free because it's on PS Plus, but still. Yeah. Like, the PC alone has, like, 60,000 concurrent players at any given time. Hmm. Okay, so it's not actually free to play. Uh, it is on, well, it is if you have PS Plus on PS4, right. and you download it this month. <laughs> right. Other After that, it's going to be 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yeah. Yeah. It's the most downloaded game in uh, PS Plus history. Wow. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Because the, the, one of the developers said, like, if, if I can get, like, 15,000 people to play all on, like, once, yeah. I'll, like, eat a bunch of bread. Or something. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he posted like a half-hearted like, you know, I'll eat my shoe if this happens. But he's like, yeah, I'll eat a, like a bunch of a whole loaf of bread or something if we ever have more than 15,000 people playing. At day one, they had like 230,000 or something. It's crazy. I mean, he's probably like, well, they weren't all playing <laughs> because our servers didn't work that day. So, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe he's content to eat some bread. I mean, that would be fine as well. I don't. I just don't even know what to do. What What, what should I do? Attack. Um, Ryan. No. You got the platinet, or do you have a truce? Switzerland. Truce. 
Mm. Truce with Platinum. Mm -hmm. Is your manpower capped? Nope. Sitting around is not acceptable, though. You <laughs> no, know. I, I know. It's painful for me to do that, but I don't feel confident enough to do it. Especially since right now, I think I'm on the fringe of, if I tried too much, theoretically, yeah, uh, Mathis and NL could coalition me if I drew too yeah. much more AE. So I don't want to do that. Damn. My spies are good. I've Our spies operate at plus 35% efficiency. Dang. 0.06% chance of getting caught doing stuff. It's pretty good. Yes, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Trying to increase yeah. my uh, spy detection rate in my capital, but don't think Yeah, we stage. talked about that mm -hmm. until the very last thing. Yeah. It's a weird mechanic, honestly. It is. Now, other than... I'm assuming espionage idea gives you espionage defense. It does. I wonder if anything else does. Look at that little policies. shield. Policies, yeah. There's a number of policies that raise spy defense. Oh, policies, yeah. But I don't think any just idea does. What the heck? Yeah, I have five diplomats, and three of them are just, you know, reserved for messing with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep things Sometimes I put... Sometimes I sick three of them on one of you, and other times I spread the love out, you know. It's, it's actually working really well. Like, I'm having the harsh treatment pretty frequently. Oh, you you wow. actually harsh treatment. I never, I, I don't think I've done that since they introduced it. I well, am, like, really ahead of time on military, and I'm like, well, I can't really afford to, <laughs> like, spend four weeks or something just constantly rebuilding manpower from Rebels. So, uh, I agree, it's not an optimal solution. I used to do it, but not uh, occasionally, but not in the new system. I don't think I've done it yet. So, so hey, yeah, uh, Northern Line, which, which ones are you constantly harsh treatmenting? <laughs> I refuse <laughs> like, to tell you, of course. <laughs> the Saxon, I wish these, God, how long is it going to take until they fix this freaking number? Like, <laughs> the support rebels number, it needs to have, like, some semblance in reality, like, some tie to, to real numbers. That'd be nice. What, what does point one one mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I decline your white piece, England. Oh, right, you're involved in that war. Well, you're not involved in it, I don't think. Oh, I was wondering why my work session's not ticking down. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Basics for 100, please, Alec. It's Alex, excuse me. <laughs> Is it He's Alex? A, it's it Alex, Alex Trebek. Alec Trebek, I thought. No way, man. Maybe it's just the way Sean Connery pronounces it then. Maybe. But yes, it is Alex. He's okay. from Canadian Saint. Really close where I live. Hmm. Really? Uh, yeah. Where's he from? Uh, well, he was born... Um, what was it called? Um, well, he's born in Sudbury. He was born in the oh, town okay. I live in. And then he spent some time in a nearby town as well, which like takes credit for some of this stuff. But yeah, he was literally born in my city. He's got family here. He's just here, I think, last year for a family reunion. That's cool. Apparently, he's a really good guy. Everyone likes him. That does not surprise me in the least. I would not have assumed that the, the host of a quiz show is necessarily a, a garbage man. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. In oh. this case, I mean not a trash engineer, a sanitation specialist, but a man literally made of garbage. Right. Looks like this war is finally going to end. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Really? And England just switched to Protestant. Just now? Mm hmm. I know, I agree. It's kind of surprising. I don't like that. No. We need to convert people back to the one true faith. <laughs> A Reformation hasn't popped yet, has it? Or, like, the Reformed, rather. No. No, that happens around, like, 190% Reformed Desire. And we... I can't actually see it, can I? Because I'm, I'm Protestant. Oh, really? It's yeah. 103. Weird. I didn't realize that it was a hidden value now. For me. I, I really enjoy Protestant. It's It feels really overpowered. Because you can store up 200 church power, and it takes 100 church power to enact an aspect. Mm -hmm. So... Once you have 200 stored up, you can be, like, at peace, and then you can cancel one of your at peace modifiers and turn on, like, discipline plus 
and then as soon as you go back to the piece, you'll still have 100 to change it back to piece mode. So it's like, you basically can just have the best possible modifiers whenever you want them. That's pretty handy. You didn't go Protestant, did you? No, I'm, I'm a bishop. How could I go and betray the Pope like that? Come on. I, I did. I, I had no issue with it. I might go reform just for the fun of it. Although that would put I me in a bad diplomatic position, I think. I'll be the last bastion of Catholicism. Exactly. Someone's got it. Yeah, I, although I've got that, like, best bishop award from the Pope, and I kind of <laughs> want to keep that. That's like a sweet award. Is it, just it's like, a is it like a trophy in the shape of the Pope's hat? Uh, I, may, I would assume so. The Legatus Natus. The Mitre? Sorry, that's an yeah, item exactly. in Isaac. I don't think it's an actual <laughs> thing. Well, I think we should put a cut in here since we are pressed for time this week anyway. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. It's good to be back, and we will have episodes uh, coming up all this week for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.